Let's play. Hello everyone, welcome back to SimCity Starter and we are going to take a look at some more of our industrial area today and connecting some of these roads and then also I want to try to start getting into putting in our gigantic buildings here which is going to require uh, things like a trade HQ and if we hover over this it, see, uh, it says that we need three different storage lots and we only have one so far and what they mean by that is we only have one type like this only has oil so in order to unlock that we have to plop two more things and since we know we're going to be mining coal at some point and I haven't looked at that map to do that but we're going to probably look at that it's a good reminder if we plop coal here and let's put down oh just freight should be fine that should give us our unlock once we run the game and let's get the game running so we're making some money if we go in here and we look at our trading ah. <laughs> only says we have to probably because freight is what comes with it you know what and that's fine let's do an edit again and oh our limit is reached on everything hmm four of four not quite sure why that's telling me that uh, that we need more things if we've only got two you know what we can do here's a quick workaround and this is it's gonna cost us a little bit but again we've got so much money it's okay put one of these in plop one of these and bam and I bet you that'll do it no yes oh now we need to trade 72,000 in the global global market <laughs> and I think we'll be okay with that because we're exporting so much oil so let's let's let this run we're gonna let the game go here so we can move on to that and let's take a quick look at that coal that I was talking about and that is this one and it's right here and I've never done coal before as I had mentioned pre previously so if we look at coal Let's see how big this thing is. It's not that big. So we can actually run it on this side, which is which is pretty good because if you as you see here, if we put it here, we're gonna have issues with the uh, the extensions. And I don't know what sorts of extensions we need or don't need. So let's put it. Well, let's see here. The extensions are on the side where that tall piece is. So if it's facing this way, let's put it towards the edge. And let's plop that down right there. And now we've got a coal mine, and we are mining coal, aren't we? Well, we will be shortly. And what do we do for this? We've got, you know, delivery trucks, of course. A coal shaft, which I'm assuming is going to pump the coal from the ground. And we've got an augmented coal shaft, which increases it. And this is going to be with Omega Co., which we're not going to worry about. So this looks fairly straightforward, and that's good. So if we go to our trade depot... Click on it once, hit Manage Global Market Deliveries. Now we have two resources. We have, of course, the oil, and now we have coal. And we want to export this as well. It's not worth a whole lot, but you know what? Hey, let's make some money because every little bit's going to help because what we need to achieve is that 72000 in a day so we can get our uh, our trade HQ. And why does it say tra trade depots are closed? Now hiring. Uh, we need residential. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not sure quite what we're going to do with that because I have a lot of residential. Let's look again at our density map. Our commercial over here looks like it's ready to, to expand, so you know what? Let's at least do that. That'll kind of help. Let's do low for now. Let's see what happens. And we do need more residential, but I'm not quite sure where I'm going to stick them. I think for now, let's build a section of residential just right here and we'll just uh, actually we'll zone this but this is just to kind of get some more able-bodied people into this into this space so we're making money and, and achieving our goals this might have been not quite where I wanted to put this because I wanted to run a road right here which we're gonna do shortly as well but that's okay one thing at a time I'm gonna look more into our oil because we have some pump jacks that are available we have three more we can place and I think we can get at least one or two in here. Maybe even all three. If we put one there, there. Nope, that's it. So now, oh, but we can put one right here. And if we hover, or, or as you see, 356, 361, right there. Excellent. 
now we've got now we're definitely going to need an additional delivery truck because we have our full set of pump jacks so let's put down one and see if we need more than that I don't know and we haven't put down a sign yet where should we put our sign signs are good let's everybody know what they're doing let's go actually let's hide hide the parking there there we go that's pretty good I put a sign down here nope let's put one here too why not there we are and we've got two garages of each they're pumping oil things are going well excellent now let's see how are we doing in our trade and there it is we've got our unlock we have our trade HQ which is going to be the very first building we're going to put up here so let's see where we want to stick that now these upgrade over time you unlock different things and they're going to grow in height so right now it's going to start off at a certain height and I kind of want this to look like it's facing directly forward so I'm trying to find there we go and that's it right there bam look at that trade HQ and now as of course as I said when I'm coming in I want to see these big buildings over here kind of overlooking what will soon be not only our garbage dump but also we're going to put a recycling plant here and we can do a whole lot with all these sorts of things what we're kind of building up to is just uh, a lot of commerce if we have oil which we're pumping now and we're selling which is great and these say upgrade, upgrade roads don't they squirrel if we if we start to build these things um, we can also or import import exports that's what I was talking about <laughs> one thing at a time radio one thing at a time uh, oh look at that traffic <laughs> let's focus on what I was talking about all oh, this road isn't connected that's hilarious okay that's why this wasn't working you know what we can go ahead and delete this anyway I'll do it let's pause the game real quick so I can finish my thought and then we'll connect a couple of roads as we have different resources oil coal these sorts of things when we put down say the uh, the recycling center we can recycle metal metal alloy and plastic we can turn those things into very valuable exports such as computers electronics things like that um, processors so that's kinda of what I'm going for I wanna take this and turn this into not necessarily just a white collar but we're gonna we're gonna do um, more of an industrial park that's gonna have lower and and higher education um, or maybe not I, we'll see what the game allows us to do because I don't want, we're not trying to achieve everything in this one city but I do want to achieve a lot of import export I think because we have the raw resources to start with and as we're doing our trading with our trade HQ and those sorts of things we're gonna be doing great we're gonna make a lot of money that way so now let's get in here and let's figure out how we want to attach this road I don't want to attach it here because that that terrified me last time because I'm worried about terraforming issues as you know so let's just go cardinal sin four-way intersection it's just temporary so we're gonna go ahead and do that and this and let's see that's gonna be way too sharp an angle I don't think I can even get close to there it is and then delete this there we go get the game running again and that'll help power that up now I know I have some one at least one abandoned building let's get rid of that okay great fantastic we have oil pumping like crazy how are we on storage looks like we're good there and we don't need our freight don't need a freight warehouse we're gonna get rid of that because again it costs us money ironically <laughs> it's strange isn't it when I'm concerned about money and what I'm not and the things I'm concerned about with money and the things I'm not uh, I also know that I want to start building some stuff out here because we need a lot of commercial they're screaming for it and this school isn't helping us so I want to put the school over here um, let me check how's our water doing that's not water Ooh, I wouldn't want that water okay good we're running low why is that good because we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna put in our water pumping station costs a little bit more see you know here here's the part where I say hey I don't care about money we're gonna get that as close to the road so right there bam we'll put that in we're going to delete this and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the school right off this main Avenue 
and the main reason for that is the only thing that comes in and out of there for the most part we have a few employees not a ton how many do we have 44 yes yeah, so, I mean we don't have a ton um, so we've got those employees and then we have the, the students themselves in the buses so let's go ahead and we're gonna actually plop a school because they're, they're complaining anyway that they're not getting enough um, I like this road here I like how it attaches am I going to keep it I just might let's go a little off this road just in case I want to move it and we'll put that school right here and we're gonna go ahead and does this have it has an additional classroom and everything wow well that's good it means we're, we're making smart people as much as we can anyway so if it needed an addition we'll put those both on there uh, and then let's go back to this and okay a lot of these people aren't even getting bus service so let's go ahead and start putting down bus stops again keeping to the same side of the street here and here and let's see here's good way out here uh, I think we need one here just sprinkle them in just remember keep them all on the same side of the street so you don't run into issues over the buses having to zigzag across the streets to pick up the students oh and we've got some some people I've forgotten about back there there we go now we've got all the bus coverage we need and one there and that's great and we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this boom now we can come in here and we can actually go ahead and zone some commercial because we need it so let's get in here and zone wait we're not even going to get all that much unfortunately right, we'll get as much as we can see how much we needed it <laughs> look at that right away we've got a big building going up that's good I bet you these are yeah these are ready to go as well so let's go ahead and we'll take those to a medium density and we will get some more commercial in here look at that immediately fantastic all right that's what we're looking for that's what we want hey look at the lights at our trade HQ we have some nice up lighting here and progress towards our uh, next upgrade the daily profit look at that it's going up we need 250,000 we're at 209 we might even get an upgrade before this episode is over so that's good we've got some stuff we've got progress progress people now police what do we have what's the problem here crime has the upper hand really because we have zero crimes a day uh, we have one criminal floating around who's looking for something to do I'm not going to worry about and boy building fire this time but this particular building on the end just does not want to stay in one piece we keep having to demolish it so look at that we got two great buildings right there which means I might move this road at some point who knows we'll see how that goes we're building away I'm excited this is good we need to hopefully get to 15,000 I don't know if we're gonna hit it in this city or not the 15,000 people I get well we will but it takes time because we have things like um, well, they can't get to any shopping. See, now this is why we needed shopping right here. Because these places, or these people had to go too far to get to, to commercial. We didn't have enough commercial. So, how are we doing here? We can't get to any shopping. Let's check our building density map. And, not quite. But, over here we have a little bit. Here, here. These are almost ready to go. Which means we will upgrade the roads which will increase well if we actually this one I think this whole region I'm only gonna go to low density because they don't is this a studio apartment it sure is uh, and in order to make this a medium wealth we should look into doing that let's do parks now for parks it's, it's quite simple this is low wealth these two are medium wealth these two are high wealth uh, so we get to go in and pick what we want and we'll place them and I like to try to pick things that look nice uh, Obviously these are bigger like a baseball field is pretty big But the bigger it is of course you see that the larger area it affects with that green circle Let's go into nature ponds are very popular and the reason ponds are popular is because look at this I can tuck these back in here and it's going to affect this entire area and It doesn't take up too much space 
Now I can't put it in here, it's going to delete buildings, but that's alright. So let's go, you know what? Here's a perfect spot for a pond. Immediate happiness, and I bet you these will start rebuilding quite quickly. So we've got one there. Let's do... Because we can't fit houses back here anyway, right? Right, so put another one there. Put another one right there. And you can see this whole area now is getting toward medium wealth because we have a police station. Boom, new construction. That's good news. Let's go down here and because we're going to keep it fairly low density, we'll put one right across the street here from the, sh from the shopping. That's going to raise the wealth of our shopping. We can't get a building in here, right? Right. Park. Fantastic. Now that's about as far as I want to take it because I don't want to get into here too much. This I want to stay low wealth. Low wealth and then we'll see about medium densities and things like that. But now we've got some some higher or medium wealth so some higher wealth here look at that nice looking house and this can sometimes help with the uh, the density because people want to upgrade but again we're not going to do that we, we might even delete these because they're on this road which is a medium density which means we get medium density buildings and I want to keep this suburban but I wanted the medium density because I don't mind having these those look nice it's a good looking row of commercial there and again this is the kind of uh, the separator wall Right here, this this blocks them from all the lower wealth, which is <laughs> nothing wrong with lower wealth, but uh, that's the game, right? Okay, so education, we still have a problem. The classrooms are full. What do we have? 550, we taught 550, which means we need to put in another one. Let's do that. Put that in there. Now, at some point, before too long, if we get enough uh, residents here, if we get to 15,000, I think the next upgrade I might even make might be education. We're going to see. I might save it for another. We might actually we might save the education for our other region uh, or other city because when we put in the Department of Education, we can get rid of this and we can put it in a high school, and that's going to be a good move for us because the high school handles more students and is less expensive, so that's going to be advantageous. But the rest of this, how are we going here? How are we doing? We still aren't getting quite enough, so how are we doing on profits? We're still making plenty of money. Oh, you know, and another thing I forgot. I forgot to raise my taxes again after I demolished this, what, 17, 18,000 times. However, I would normally say crank it to 12 because low wealth sims, they're fine, but medium wealth sims aren't. And now that we have some medium wealth sims, because we don't have a department of finance, we cannot adjust individual taxes. So let's bump these to 11, and we'll be safe. And we're going to be making more money, a decent chunk more money at that. So they're protesting low land values. They want parks. This area is going to stay that way, but this area is growing up. Oh, look at that. We have some nice houses coming in. Not sure what they're upset about the land value. The land value should be increasing. We've got a nice pond right across the street. Maybe it's traffic. I do have some really nasty traffic going on in here. Oh, this is horrible. We will figure this out as we go, though, because right now I don't want to get too involved with that. Uh, I want to keep building. And I think I said I was going to build more in this area, and <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I had an idea for this. Let's do that. Let's grab this, and I want to arc this and attach it. How do I want to attach it? You know what? We're going to bring that out straight for a minute, and then we're going to attach it. So we'll go here because I can bring this here, and then from here, go back to our arc tool, and that's going to come down into our funky, let's see what that does for terraforming. Actually, I think it might even look better. That's okay, I'm fine with that. And we can now take this and attach this road as well. Hold in the shift key, keep it nice and straight, and now we've got some blocks, which is kind of what I wanted. And we're going to worry, or not worry, we're going to work on <clears throat> putting some more city services here. We have the school now. We might move the police back in here. This is a great spot for these sorts of things, for, for utilities and services. Uh, I think our our services, our utilities are taken care of. Obviously, we've got great power. we got great water. And we've got great sewage. We're doing fine on that. Trash, doing just fine. The Sims, however, and we don't have, we don't have the, the ability yet anyway, the Sims are not quite ready for recycling because they're not educated enough. You have to have a certain education level. What is our education level? We've got a hat and a half. 
I don't think that's enough. I think we have to get to at least three full hats in order for them to start recycling. That simply takes time. Um, we're just going to let this run for a while. I mean, we're going to let the game go, of course, uh, play, play with, playing the game. And we're going to replace this as soon as we can with a high school. And that's going to help us out. And then we'll probably put one community college in this region because, again, I don't want to have... The education is going to be in their city next door. That's what we're after. But we want to educate these students because, as we've explained in the past, it helps with fire. They're not lighting themselves on fire. They're not hurting themselves and dying all the time. And they're not committing crimes. That's a good thing. We have a boatload of traffic. But we're going to work on that as we go. This is pretty rough. I wonder if upgrading this to a... High density avenue will help kind of uh, take that pressure off of there. The problem I'm having, of course, is that everybody from this area only has one way out. And we will look into how to alleviate that pressure. We are going to probably have to figure out something else. Uh, we're going to need an exi or a, a separate route. We might have to cut in through here, which I don't know if we can with this here. I'm going to take a look only for my own edification. We're not doing this right now. We could do that, and that's going to give us two ways out, which means, and that's good, because the Sims from this area will use the closest road, and the Sims from this area will use the closest road. Now, of course, what that's going to do is really pack this thing full, so we might have to upgrade this, or, well, not upgrade, because you can't upgrade to an avenue. We might have to replace this with an avenue. And that's okay. Hey, look, an upgrade. Well, there is a positive note to end this episode, and I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get here, let's go in, and bam. Oh, what, no fireworks? Well, <laughs> at least we have another story to this. That's fantastic. I'm very excited about that. And what do we have? We can put down metals division and our petroleum division. Now if we put down a petroleum division that means we can take all of this oil that we're sucking up from the ground and turn it into different things. So we might even do that. And how big is that son of a gun? Oh, it's overlapping on top of the road. We might even put that in. I'm not going to do it right this second. But we might put down a petroleum division. What I'm going to do is, again, because it's been so long since I've dealt with some of these things, I'm going to go do my homework. I'm going to go read up on Petroleum Division, what it takes to get that to run, to turn the stuff into gasoline and sell that, and also see what the global market is telling us, because if it's not worth it, then we won't put it down, right? So, anyway, as always, do me a favor and leave some comments in the section below so I kind of know what you want to see, so I have an idea, so I can guide this city in the right direction. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another episode of SimCity Starter.